This is day 120 of trying to get to 2000 ELO on chess.com. Currently I'm rated 1881 and I'm versing someone rated 1924. And I'm playing the ready opening. So I'll just probably just fianchetto. Uh, I like to fianchetto my dark squared bishop and then eventually um, castle kingside. But I like to delay castling for as long as possible because I want to see where my opponent develops uh, his pieces. My next move is to push uh, d4, but now since he's pushed uh, e5, um, that actually doesn't really work because then he could probably probably push. So I just push uh, d3. That's a strong. That's actually a very strong move by him. Um, so I'll just have to push d3, develop my light squared bishop, and then develop uh, my knight to d2. I never want to develop my knight in front of the bishop because it blocks the pawn and it just kind of messes up everything. Now since since this is uh, this is very a different way of, of my opponent uh, to play, usually I would push c4, but since he's played um, differently, I, I usually just create a wall of pawns and I will push the a pawn as well. I always do this when my opponent has um, a different pawn structure. I just want to make sure that I just have a wall of pawns here, maybe even pushing h3 and then um, actually maybe moving my queen to c2 first, just still delaying castling for as long as possible. And then I'm, I'm, I could castle queenside, I could castle kingside, but probably uh, my playing style is more, is more, um, I'm more used to castling kingside. I could castle queenside, but I just, I really don't like how when, when they push a5 and I just, I don't like that. So I'm, I'm just going to castle kingside. Uh, probably he still pushes a5, probably rerouting my knight. And then I might even push f3. I might just put every single pawn. Um, I might just, I'm going to put every single pawn actually pushing, pushing f4 would kind of look like a strong move, but if he were to push, it gets, it gets confusing because it's just like, he has so many, it's, it's, it's honestly, it's too confusing. I'll have to take a moment to think. Push, he pushes, I push, he pushes, I push, he pushes. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to I'm going to go for it. I'm going to push uh, f4. Um, if you were to push, I might push. So if I were to push, um, if you were to take, I'd probably. Uh, I wasn't really sure. Like I wasn't exact. I know I wanted to push this pawn because I wanted this pawn to be stuck here. But if I were to take, that just looks very questionable. So I'm kind of thinking of pushing. But now, if I were to push, then he would probably uh, take, and then I'd have to take with this pawn, and then his rook would just go to the open file. So that's what I don't like about that. Yeah, I, I don't I don't want to take and and I don't want to push. I'm gonna move my king over. Um, that might be a questionable move, but I just I've come to the conclusion that I just don't want to, I don't want to uh, take or push. Um, if he if he were to take, I'd probably take with my bishop. He decides to go for a rook lift. Very very interesting move. I'm kind of thinking of pushing g uh, four. If he were to take, I take uh, knight takes. I have enough. Def I think I have enough defenders. Push. He takes. I take, uh, he takes, I take, yeah. So I have enough defenders, but um, my king, you know, it's, my king would kind of be weak. I kind of want my queen to be um, kind of farther into the game. And my opponent's playing very quickly. So that's what's also kind of annoying me. I'm just going to go for it though. Um, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to push this pawn. I just, I don't, I don't, uh, I've changed my mind. I just, I need to create some type of uh, attack here. It's very, very confusing. I have no idea what he's going to play. Probably pushing would be the best move. Um, and then I wouldn't really, but he decides just to take. So I'll take if he takes. Um, I'll have to take with the pawn, obviously. Very, very confusing. Um, I'm glad that my king has moved over though. So obviously I have to take now with the pawn. Um, I don't think I've blundered anything yet. My pawn structure is pretty terrible, but uh, I'll just continue continue playing. If he were to take, I'll probably take with the bishop. I just want to trade off uh, material as fast as possible. Oh, that looks like a really good move. Actually, I should be able to take though. I should just be able to take and if he takes... Actually, no, that doesn't work at all. Okay, I basically... Um... It looks like I've already lost the game. I'm gonna take. There's really nothing I can do. He'll take. I take, and then I'll have to. Uh, um, the game. The game's basically over. I kind of just blundered. Um, I just blundered a little bit, and my opponent's blitzing out every single move. So there's really not much I can do. It looks like I have to move my king. Maybe. Uh, maybe taking his knight so that my queen is able to. Uh, oh, he's threatening. Uh, he's threatening this check. The game is over. Um, I don't. I'm not even sure. I'm just gonna play a move. Like it looks like he could probably. Um, if he maneuvers his knight, I'll have to move my king. I ch I kind of just want to take his knight. Maybe actually taking even taking his knight just wouldn't work at all because then my that just doesn't work. So maybe he'll just take this pawn. Um, 
yeah, the game the game's over. Uh, I just made some mistakes. My opponent just blitzes out every single move, um, and uh, there's really nothing I can do. If I were to take this, it looks like his rook would take. I do have this check, but uh, just doesn't do. Oh my god, my knight can take this. Okay, apparently my knight can take that. Um, so I'm going to take that. I'm still down. Uh, he's also threatening. Uh, he's, he's still threatening mates. I do have this check, but that doesn't do anything. Uh, I, what I'm worried about is that his knight, his knight hopping here. Like if I were to move my rook over, then that's a huge problem. So yeah, so I'll move my rook over. It looks like he's gonna move his knight. Um, actually, I guess that's not even a threat. That's not even a threat. I could just move my king. I don't know what what I'm what I'm thinking about. So I'm down. I'm down some. I'm down uh, two points of material. Um. My opponent doesn't, he just blitzes out every single move though, so it's hard for me to, uh, I guess I could take this though. So I'm going to, uh, I'm going to take, I'm going to take this. Uh, my queen is in better positioning. My bishop's also kind of doing a little bit better now. It's kind of active. There might be some problems. He decides just to move his bishop instead. It doesn't, I can't take this pawn. I can't give him any of these checks. Um... I can't, uh, I can't go here, I can't go here. Where can I go? I can go here. I think that might be my only square. Actually, I'll go here. And the idea um, is so that my queen is still here. If his, if his queen were to take this pawn, then I might be able to, uh, that would probably be, that probably wouldn't be a good move, I, I don't think, because then that would just activate my rook. Hopefully he just moves, uh, he, um, moves his knight and then just blunders main one. That would be, uh, that would be nice. But he, he plays... He plays so fast. Like, right now he's not playing fast, but he plays... Like, he just sacrifices his bishop. Okay, I will... Uh, I'll go here. Um, obviously, if he sacrifices, I can just take with the queen. I wouldn't want to take with the rook because I would blunder a rook. Um, and I couldn't take this because that's mate. So, my, my position is very questionable, but... He's not playing. He's not playing the best moves. I can I can feel that he's definitely not playing the best moves. So maybe there'll be there'll be some type of opportunity for me uh, to win the game. Right now his queen is under attack. I'm not sure what he's going to. Uh, what what's what's nice about this though is that his his bishop is also under attack. So if you were to move his queen somewhere, um, actually he can't even go here because my queen would take. Let's say if he were to go here, and I were to take, then obviously I'm threatening mates. Uh, these checks just don't do anything. It wouldn't matter if he takes my bishop because that would be mate because the rook is here. But uh, I'll just have to see what he plays. Okay, he decides to take this pawn. Um, so obviously his bishop is hanging. Uh, so that's probably the move that I'm going to play. But if I were to take his bishop, he does have uh, he does have this check. But that doesn't lead to anything because I can just easily take probably with the queen. Um, so yeah, I'm going to... Uh, I think I'm just going to take this. And uh, just see what he plays. I'm not sure how he stops me, but I'm sure he'll find a way. Like, even this queen, if he were to move his queen here, check. Yeah, queen queen here, check with the rook, king here. Oh, I don't have this check because his knight defends. Um, yeah, so it looks like queen here, um, check. His king would, I have to have something there. Okay, he decides to sacrifice, um... Really? So if I were to take this check, I'd have to block with the queen, so that probably doesn't work. If I were to take with the rook, check here. No, I'll just I'll just take with the queen, because check here, if he takes, takes. I have this rook, this rook, and I have the bishop all on his king. Um, unless I'm missing something, but uh, yeah, I'll just I'll just take with the queen, you know, my, make sure my king is safe. I was thinking about taking with the rook, but I just didn't really like that, so I'll just bring the queen back. It's Guarding my king, okay. I have a lot of pressure on his king. Um, if you were to push this pawn, that would probably just... That has to lose the game, like, on the spot. But maybe it takes, and then... That would have to lose the game on the spot. I want to say just taking takes with the queen check. Uh, um, yeah, I'm going to take that. I'm going to take that. If he takes with the rook, that's a uh, check. Oh, his rook can block. His rook can block, then I could... No, it doesn't work. But he decides to take with the queen. Um, I'm gonna give him this check. Maybe I'll just uh, maybe I'll just go here, uh, forcing forcing a, a queen trade, and I'm up two points of material. Um, 
and he resigns. All right, I can't believe I won that game. I played with the 68.3% accuracy. My opponent played with the 67.8% accuracy. I have to say, I've played thousands of games of chess, and I've never seen a position like this arise in a real game. My rating is now 1890, percentile 99.4%, and a high of 1964. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.